Alright guys, welcome to our channel once again. Today, you'll learn about the index of hydrogen deficiency, IHD. So the index of hydrogen deficiency, sometimes also called the mode of unsaturation, represents the number of double bonds or rings in a molecule. It is the difference in the number of hydrogen atoms between the molecular formula of an unknown compound and the formula of a corresponding acyclic saturated compound divided by two. So the simple rules that may be used to predict how the ratio will change are as follows. So number one rule is an additional hydrogen atom must be added to the molecular formula of a compound for each group 5 elements added so for each group 5 elements you add you must add an additional hydrogen to the molecular formula for instance this is c6h14 now um for a particular alkane we know that the general formula is usually cn h2n plus 2 so if i have c2 then h2n plus 2 will be h 2 times 2 that's 4 plus 2 6 so it will be h6 so if i have c3 H2N plus 2 would be 2 times 3, that's 6 plus 2, 8. So if I have C4, H2N plus 2 will be 4 times 2, 8 plus 2, 10. So that's the equivalent number of hydrogen that is meant to be for each of these according to the general formula of alkanes so if i have this compound now according to the first rule if i am to add a nitrogen which is a group five element to this now this compound will change to be c6 h15 n now what if i add n2 to this I'll have C6 H16 N2. So notice that for each additional nitrogen I add to this, the number of hydrogen atoms will increase by one. So it is so for all group 5 elements. So it is for all group 5 elements added to this so elements like nitrogen phosphorus arsenic antimony and the rest So the next rule, to convert the formula of an open chain saturated hydrocarbon to a formula containing a group C element like the oxygen, the sulfur and the rest of them, no change is required in the number of hydrogens. So for instance, the C6H14 we mentioned earlier on if i add an oxygen to this that's c6 h14 o now nothing gets to change now even if i add c6 h14 o2 nothing gets to change in the number of hydrogen so the third rule 
For the formula of an open chain saturated hydrocarbon that contains a group 7 elements, group 7 elements include fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, EDC. So for open chain saturated hydrocarbons containing these elements, one hydrogen atom must be subtracted from the molecular formula of the corresponding open chain saturated hydrocarbon. Now, if I should have C6H14, now when I add, let's say, fluorine to this, I should subtract one hydrogen from this. So this will change to C6H13F. Or let's say I add bromine to this. I'll have C6H13Br. What if I add Br2 to this? I'll have C6H12Br2. So let's just solve some examples on this. So the first example says, what is the index of hydrogen deficiency of C4H8O? So to find out the index of hydrogen deficiency for this compound, first of all, we have to state the corresponding saturated acyclic hydrocarbon compound. So the corresponding alkane for this should be C4 H thin. So let's notice the substituent added. That's O. And O leaves the hydrogen with no change. So there won't be any change in the number of hydrogen. So this is the formula still remains the same. And then now let's check the difference between this and this. The difference between C4, H10, O, and C4, H8, O. The difference in the number of hydrogen here is simply 2. So the last step, we have to divide whatever we have here by 2. So when you divide 2 by 2, you have 1. So this means that the index of hydrogen deficiency here is 1. Now this implies that the molecule with the molecular formula C4H8O has either one double bond or one ring. So let's consider the next and the last example. So the example says, calculate the IHD for C4 H4 Br NO2. So for this, the corresponding alkane will be C4 H10. Since we know that we have the formula Cn H2n plus 2. So 2 times 4 is 8, then plus 2, 10. So we have C4 H10. So if we should place this side by side, I have C4 H10 Br NO2. So let's notice that bromine is a group 7 element and as such we have to subtract. So basically when we subtract we'll have C4 H9 Br NO2. So next, 
nitrogen is a group five element so as such we have to add so when we add we'll have c4 h10 br no2 So oxygen here is a group six element and as such does not change anything from the formula. So this leaves us with C4 H10 Br N O two. So when we subtract this C4 H4 Br NO2. Now, notice that I have H4 here and I have H10 here. So the difference is 6. So I'll have 6 here. So when I divide this by 2, I have 3. So this means that the compound C4H4BrNO2 will have 3 double bonds. Or it can also have two double bonds and a ring you can also have a triple bond and a ring you can as well have a double bond and a triple bond Alright guys, that will be the end for this class. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Also ensure to share the video with your friends for more subscribers. If you've not yet subscribed to our channel, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.